Hey friends, Jill here. Welcome back to Whispering Willow Farm. I've been working in my garden all morning cultivating beds and man, let me tell you guys, it feels stinking good. <laughs> I love any day I get to just get my hands dirty and that's exactly what I did today. It felt so stinking good. But I'm out here, I was cleaning out my greenhouse, believe it or not, because we're getting ready to start seeds soon. Um, I'm gonna have my large greenhouse uh, built in the next month, uh, which is exciting. And so I was trying to clean out everything in the greenhouse and just kind of get a plan. Um, and with that, I am getting my green stalks ready and trying to have a plan for them as well. So I wanted to do a entire video for green stock, but different than I've done in the past. So in the past, I've received green stocks. I've done a video like putting them together, talking about why you should grow in a green stock, but I've never really done a review video. And I have been uh, one of the ones that have struggled, I feel like, in getting my green stock to do what I know it has the potential to do. And I actually like unleashed its full potential this year. And so I was like, you know what? I gotta share this. It's a great opportunity because green stock is having the biggest sale that they have the entire year. You can use my code WWFARM for an additional $10 off any of their sale prices, which is pretty much the entire store. And so I wanna show you guys because I have the original planter, I have the leaf planter, I have the spinner, I have the regular mover, I've got the frost cover, I've got uh, like the trellis supports. And so there's just a lot of bells and whistles that I have. And so I'm wanting to give an honest opinion to help you guys, which one I just think will be helpful. Uh, also too, I just did a video talking about the value in starting small. And I think that if you are in that place, this is a really, really good place to start. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking, Jill, what is a green stock? <laughs> It is a vertical planter. It would be considered container gardening. Now you can see here, I have all this lush space behind me. Why would I need to grow in containers? One, it keeps things versatile. Um, and so I really like that because one, we use our farm for our own pleasure. We use our farm to sell to our community, but we also use our farm to teach you guys. And so I think it's valuable to have a lot of different options on our farm to show you guys and see which one might resonate with you and which one you might be able uh, to use and apply and so while you may not have five acres where you can put raised beds or in-ground growing space you may just have a backyard or a balcony on your apartment a green stock really could be appealing and could be an asset for you to be able to grow food and so that's a reason that we have them one they're just aesthetically pleasing i like walking through the garden and seeing my little containers and that looks like a lot of different things right i've got green stalks i've got grow bags that we'll put around the pavilion and out by uh the, gr the greenhouse and so those are things that i just really like they add that kind of personal touch in a garden when you're going you're just seeing like these fine lines right you have these rows and rows of like cabbages or whatever it is that i'm growing and it just adds a little spice in there <laughs> I kind of like it. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. I am by my leaf planter right now. So I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. And throughout this video, you're gonna see uh, content and photos of green stalks that I have previously grown in, some photos, what they look like, and then just some bits and pieces of me assembling them. Uh, right now, I have got my green stalk that had all of my lettuce from early, early fall. Most of it is dead by now and I just need to clean it out. So the green stalks that I'm gonna be showing you today, I don't actually have anything planted in them, but I'm making a plan, right? I have the crop plans that I do every year and in that I'm trying to figure out what I wanna put in my green stalks, what that looks like. So I'm trying to go ahead and get them assembled and in place that way when the spring rolls around I'm just ready to rock and roll here we have the leaf planter which I have another one of these and I'll show you but they're just these smaller pockets I actually only put five tiers on here but it comes in a seven tier so just for what I was planting I didn't actually need to put all of the tiers on there so I didn't which is one thing I like too is you can make it as tall or as short as you want Here is another leaf. This is the seven tier leaf in this new color that they just put out. It's absolutely stunning. I don't have any soil in this. I was just assembling it. And it is on the spinner base, which literally means I can just take it and move it. I prefer this one over uh, the one that just doesn't move. So over here, I mean, it still moves, but it doesn't spin. So I can still move it, um, but the spinner I really, really like. So as far as the spinner or the mover that just, you can move around but it doesn't spin, 
that's really a personal preference. I like the spinner a lot. I just love that I can just like spin that thing around and just harvest whatever I want. And it's on sale for like 26 bucks. So really like that's a good deal. I do prefer having it on something so you do not have to buy anything to set it on. Uh, but I do recommend doing that because it just allows it to have wheels. You're getting it up off the ground. You can move it around more easily, whether it's the spinner or just the regular one. Um, and so that is one of those things that I would tell you, go ahead and just while you're buying it all, spend a little bit extra and get that. Um, but now I wanna talk about the different kinds. And so this is their original uh, planter. And you can see it's got these deep uh, pockets on here. And then you have the leaf, which is my favorite. And you have these smaller pockets. Now, obviously you can tell the difference there, right? Like one is deeper than the other. I prefer the leaf for aesthetic reasons and aesthetic reasons only. But one thing you should consider when you are trying to figure out which one of these that you wanna purchase and which one is the best bet for you is, are you growing deep rooted plants? Is your intention to try and grow some tomatoes in here. Maybe you wanna grow peppers. Maybe you wanna try an okra plant or a cucumber or a melon. Are, are you gonna be growing things that have a deeper root system? Um, and if that is your intention for your green stock, I would say that the original would probably be a really good bet because you have more space for it to develop really deep roots. If you're just growing things like maybe green beans or herbs or lettuces, which are typically what I'm using my green stalks for, they don't need a really, really deep pocket because they're not really establishing super, super deep roots. So I have found that the leaf does really well for me. And one thing too is I like to buy the five or the seven tier and just take off what I'm not using. Usually we're always uh, using the full tiers in the springtime. And as you just saw in the garden, I only put five on there instead of the seven because I just didn't need that many. And so that's nice too is when you buy it, they're, they're interchangeable. And I have have actually used the original with the leaf so you can do that and I just kind of had this experiment going last year and it actually worked out really well um, and that way I was able to the things I wanted to grow that potentially would get deep roots which I didn't but if I wanted to I could have and then the things that didn't need deep roots I put plant and leaf so really I think that you just would need to evaluate and ask yourself what are you going to use your green stock for if you are in that small space and you are relying strictly on containers to grow the bulk of your food maybe the original is a really good bet or maybe you just you know get both and interchange them but i do think that's one really good thing to ask yourself uh, they both come with this water reservoir on the top and essentially what you do when you have all your green stalks stacked up you'll stick this on there and there's this little disc that goes in between each layer and in this disc, you'll see all these little holes and each hole goes to each pocket, uh, which is another complaint you'll hear a lot about container gardening. How do they dry out so quickly? Um, it didn't water evenly. I found that these little discs help that because each of the holes line up with the pockets. And what I do is I go in with a water hose and I fill up the top and there's these lines that say three, four or five and that is dependent on the tier. Um, and so if you have a five tier, you'll just fill the water up to the five, you'll line up the holes with these holes with the pockets and you guys can see it's this beautiful little thing and so literally what you'll do is you'll just fill it up and then it disperses it so i haven't ever had an issue with it drying out um even the ones that are out in the garden right now i haven't watered those at all they've just been watered by the rain and since we've gotten frequent rain and we don't have super hot days right now in the fall i have found that it works well the thing for me personally that I have really, really struggled with is soil. And so I do wanna take a bit of time and talk to you guys about the soil. So I got my first green stock off of a recommendation from my dear friend Jess. <laughs> I'd come over here, you guys, and her green stocks were like protruding with kale and lettuce and beans, and she even had tomato plants in them. And I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe you are growing all of this in this tower garden like for me my mind was kind of blown i hadn't really dabbled a whole lot into you know vertical gardening and containers and even just container growing you know for for that matter and so i was really just like kind of taken back at how much food she was producing in a in a tier like this it was crazy to me so i got my first green stalk which happened to be uh, the original planter which i have right here i went down to our local farmers co-op I got the soil that they had on hand and I put it in and I bought all my starts and I put them in and nothing happened. 
and that that is the reality of it is nothing happened now when you purchase from Greenstock they do everything to set you up they're a family owned business they're based out of Knoxville Tennessee and I feel like they really do want to help you succeed with that though you have to listen to what they're saying so I remember Ashley uh, reaching out to me and really mentioning like hey your green stock is only as good as the soil you put in it. <laughs> it was not word for word what she said, but around about like, hey, don't skimp on the soil. She gave me some tips. Make sure that you're planting it to the soil line. Then it tells you to make sure you're adding fertilizer, things like that. Did I do those things? No. Did my green stock reflect that? Yes. And so I had crummy soil because that's all that I could find available to me. I didn't fertilize it at all. And ultimately, my green stock did not produce near what it could have had I just did these simple principles. So needless to say, my green stock did not thrive that year. And so I thought, okay, the next year I'll do better. I'll give it a go. Again, I couldn't find really good soil. I didn't add fertilizer. I planted my things. I actually bought my sister-in-law a, a green stock for helping me on a seed swap I did. I drove up to Missouri where she lives. I helped her do it. We picked out soil. It was good soil. And I saw her green stock come alive. And I thought, you know what, this is it. Like I, I will travel and I will do whatever to make sure I have good quality soil because I see all these people around me knocking it out of the park. It has to be me and what I'm putting into it. And so I did some research and I found a co-op uh, that was a little bit further away and I got back toe potting soil. So this is what the bag looks like. It's back toe, B-A-C-T-O. Uh, this is a premium potting mix and it has fertilizer added in, which is really important. It's the first time I grew in my green stock, I was using a seed starting mix, which does not have any additional uh, fertilizer added to it. So I was gonna have to go in and add fertilizer and I didn't. And so I was really just kind of blowing the opportunity for my green stock to thrive. And so I like to mix the back toe and this light warrior. Um, this is a seed starter mix, but I find that it does really good. It's super light and fluffy. I um, mean, I find that it does really, really good whenever I add it in uh, with the back toe. I like to do about three quarters of the pocket with the back toe, and then I like to just top it off with this and like mix it inside. One thing I will say when you're choosing a mix, um, I would definitely get one that has fertilizer in it anyways, because when you're talking about growing in a container, um, it is not a lot of soil per the plant, and so it's soaking all that up, which is why it's also really important to put fertilizers in your green stock. Um, they actually send you some if you buy a certain bundle, and so here is Fox Farm, which is what I use for all my things, and essentially what you'll do is you'll just add this in the top when you're, when you're watering, and you're going to do that maybe once a week or so, uh, depending on when it needs it. So once I added the fertilizer regularly, I got soil that was actually stinking good. I was blown away at what my green stock would do. And so I wanna encourage you because I have received messages, hey, my green stock doesn't look like yours. My green stock doesn't look like your sister-in-law's. What am I doing wrong? I will tell you 100% is probably the soil. And I didn't realize how important it was. And make sure that you're getting a light, fluffy soil. You don't wanna get something that has a lot of bark or a lot of different materials because that's gonna be hard. It's just gonna you know, prevent the roots from growing down. And when you're already in such a limited space in these pockets like that, you just want it to be light, airy, fluffy, have fertilizer in it, add fertilizer to it. And so for me, that's really what changed the, the name of the game for me when it came to green stock. I knew I believed in the company, right? Like I love supporting a product that's made in the USA. They're a family that I've come to know. I value what they do, what they have to offer. I knew that I was just missing the boat somewhere. And once I prioritized soil, it really made a huge difference. Now I do, um, this green stock I've had for about two years, the leaf green stock I got last year, and then the one right behind me um, I just got this year. And so I've had these for a couple years now. They still hold up. What I do almost every year though is I do take them and clean them out. So unless you have herbs in there or something like that, I think it's really good to just kind of break up your soil. And you can even reuse the soil. That could look like taking the soil out, putting it in a wheelbarrow, um, cleaning out your green stock, making sure you're breaking it up, maybe adding some new fresh soil to it and then re-putting it back in. I think that's just going to help uh, the plants that you do. You could replant it in the same soil every single year. I do know people that do that and they've had success. They're just adding fertilizers back to it. Uh, but every year I'm taking apart my trays, right? I'm cleaning, I'm sanitizing everything. So that's just how I prefer uh, to do things. 
Uh, but the green stock that I've had two years ago versus the green stock I have now, they hold up. They so these are food grade and they're very well made. And so that is one thing to, no matter what you're buying, right? For me, I'm gonna invest in things that I know are practical and I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna invest in things that I can use year after year and time after time. And so that is one of the things that I do appreciate about the green stock and I would give it an excellent review in that matter is I leave it outside in the winter, I leave it outside in the summer, it holds up, it does really well. And so I do think that as far as the product goes, it's made really well. As far as how versatile it is and what you can grow in it, I would say it should definitely be ranked high because you could just have it be full of herbs. You could have it just be full of greens and chards and lettuces, or you can literally grow cucumbers, melons, tomatoes, okra. You can grow a lot of things in here, especially if you're putting the right soil and you're feeding that soil with the right fertilizer. And so if you're in a place where you don't have a garden, I think it is an incredible, incredible source to grow a lot of your food. If you are in a place where you do have a large garden and this just brings you joy, I just had this idea of my greenhouse and my leaf planters um, on either side. And to me, that was aesthetically pleasing and it was going to bring me joy when I walked out into my garden. And it's a good conversation starter, right? If someone comes to my garden and they're in the season of waiting, they're in the season of wanting something that they don't yet have. I can take them to my green stalks and show them, hey, you may not have this big raised bed garden like I do. You may not have this big high tunnel in the back full of food, but you can get this green stock uh, relatively pretty cheap and grow a lot of food. And you can start and you can use this as you learn and navigate how to grow food. All right, so let's break it down. Overall honest review. I love green stock. <laughs> I think it's great for a lot of different people. It's great for me. I even think back too to my sister-in-law, like this is what got her started growing food in her backyard in the city. And for me, that's really cool because I played a part in that and I can encourage her, hey, you may not be able to do it on this scale, but you can start and this is how you can do it. And so one, that's really cool. You can use this up as an opportunity to teach and encourage someone else that they can grow food where they are. They're, they're not limited by their space at all. And that's one thing that I really do love. It's made in America. Made Made here in the USA. I really can stand behind that and value that. They're an incredible family owned business. I know them. I talk to them regularly. That makes me feel good about purchasing from someone. Soil and fertilizer play a huge role in the success of your green stock. So I do want to encourage you guys on this. If you have a green stock now and it's just not done that well, I would encourage you dump out your soil, go source out some really good high quality soil with a fertilizer in it, add a fertilizer in it, buy a bundle or where they send you the fertilizer if you need to. Um, because I really just, that was for me what kind of changed everything. And so I hope that encourages you if maybe you have one and you're trying to figure out how to get it to produce better. Um, it's just, it's what we put into it, right? And you, when you think about too, that being the life and the longevity of your plant, you wanna make sure that you're feeding it something good and continuing to feed it, just like you would amend your garden beds outside or amend you know, your in-ground beds, cover crop, whatever that looks like. Essentially, you're doing the same thing. You're adding to, not just taking from. Uh, so that is my review on my green stalks. I love them. <laughs> I love them and I just, ha I literally do have this vision of just walking through that gate right there with the roses climbing over this spring, having my two leaf planters on either side of the greenhouse door just protruding with all this lettuce. It's gonna be so beautiful. I cannot wait to show you. Again, green stock is having their biggest sale of the year, which is why I wanted to do this video, give you guys an opportunity to hop on that sale. The link will be down below. Use my code WWFARM for an additional $10 off. But thanks for hanging out with me today while I was just <laughs> chilling on my greenhouse deck, just taking in the beauty. But thank you guys so much. I'll talk to you soon.